So for today, the long problems uh, in your uh, book will be uh, discussed, but not all of the problems, so just a few of them. And we will focus on the long problems, and I will be presenting to you the uh, solutions, uh, the correct answers for the problems. So we'll begin with chapter 4 on the trade and other receivables particularly in for the dash one so in the problem we have dreamer company reported receivables account with a debit balance of two million at year end and the allowance for doubtful accounts had a credit balance of fifty thousand on the same date so the following are the details under the receivables account which totals 2 million. So you have the trade accounts receivable down to the accrued interest receivable. Then your requirements are first is to prepare a compound entry to reclassify the receivables account. So remember that uh, the line item in the statement of financial position should show the account title of trade and other receivables and the trade and other receivables will include not only the accounts receivable but also the other uh, non-trade receivables so the account title ng receivables lang di ba moment na siya ay nakabutang diha sa introduction is not correct it should be uh, categorized according to the specific yun nga mga account titles so dili pwede nga tanan na lang nga transactions kay receivables ang gigamit okay so that's why we need to prepare the correct entry to reclassify the item so we'll start with the trade accounts receivable so you have there um the trade accounts receivable is under the subsidiary uh, or under the account title of receivables in general. So, kaning mga items nga nakalista, kanatanan, pag enter anak niya sa records, tanan na siya ginan lanog at uh, receivables. So, wala siya gispecify kung accounts receivable, notes receivable, wala. That's why. Here in our NP, we establish the accounts receivable. So that's why we debit 775,000. And then the next one is we establish also the notes receivable, 100,000. And then the installments receivable, 300,000. Then the customer's accounts reporting credit balances would be credited to customer's credit balances account. Then you have the advance payments for purchase of merchandise will be uh, reclassified to advances to suppliers. Then you have customers account reporting credit balances arising from advance payments. So the other one, the first one, katong credit balances is because of the sales returns, excessive returns. So ang panganya is customer's credit balances but the other one uh, the one with the credit balance but arising from advance payment would be categorized here as advances from customer so that's 20,000 cash advance to subsidiary the appropriate account title would be advances to subsidiary claim from insurance entity should be classified as claim receivable then you have the subscription receivable that is due in 60 days since it, this is short term or currently receivable so subscriptions receivable 300,000 accrued interest receivable we establish the account accrued interest receivable and we credit receivables because again all of the items there listed are entered in the books only using the account title receivables letter b is you need to compute the trade and other receivables and remember that trade and other receivables would include not only the trade accounts receivable but also the other uh, non-trade receivable so that's why the composition would be starting from the accounts receivable 
Deduct the allowance that is found in the second sentence of the problem. Diba? The allowance for doubtful accounts is 50000 Then you have the notes receivable, installments receivable, advances to suppliers, claim receivable, subscription receivable, then accrued interest receivable. So total of 1600000 so that's for requirement B. For letter C, what would be the uh, classification and presentation of the other items that were not included here in letter B? So, we have advances to subsidiary. It is classified as non-current and presented as long-term investment. While the credit balances and uh, this one, 30,000, and also the advances will be classified, of course, as current liabilities and should be part of the trade and other payables. But the reason for that is that uh, we are obliged or we have the liability to either return the uh, excess payment or if there's an agreement, we need to supply the uh, goods nga na return or supply ba nato tong uh, other items nga pwede na tong ipuli at tong credit balance. Then we'll proceed to 4-2. If there are no questions, are there any questions uh, before we proceed? Are there questions? None. Okay. So we'll proceed with 4 2. So the requirement here is to compute the correct amount of accounts receivable. That's the first one. So the uh, second one is compound entry to adjust the accounts receivable. And then third is compute the amount that will be presented as trade in other receivables and indicate the classification of the other items. So we'll focus first on the first requirement. So what's the correct accounts receivable? So if you can observe in the given data for credible company, there's a T account and there are specific transactions that you can find in the debit and the credit column. So again, this is found on Problem 4-2 on page 124. You have the beginning balance of 600,000. Charge sales mean means uh, credit uh, sales. So, katong inutang. Inutang uh, sales. Inutang sa customers na sales. Then, we have the shareholders subscription was included in the accounts receivable. Then, deposit on contract was also part of the accounts receivable claims against common carrier for damages is also recorded as accounts receivable ious cash advance affiliates and then advances to supplier are all debited to accounts receivable and then on the credit side you have the collections write off merchandise returns allowance to customer for shipping damages collections on carrier claims and collection on, on subscriptions and based on what we have uh, learned in our lesson that there are only certain items that are included in the accounts receivable but there are items there in the t account that should not be there diba wala unta na siya labot so unsa naman ang items nga maapil sa Quintada's accounts receivable. So we will begin with the beginning balance. Of course, we will start with the uh, beginning balance in the accounts receivable. So we'll start with the 600,000. So that's given. And then we have the charge sales because diba, if there is a sales on account or there's a credit sale, so we debit accounts receivable and we credit sales. So, appeal na siya. Unsa man ang mga items nga pwede na tong ma-deduct. So, ang ma-deduct is katong collection sa utang which is kanisha 5,300,000. Any write-off. Remember when there is a write-off, di ba? Mag-debit taog. Um, I-debit na to ang 
ang allowance for doubtful accounts and credit the accounts receivable. So, credit man accounts receivable, so that's why this is a deduction. If there's a merchandise return, diba, that would be a debit to sales return and then credit accounts receivable. So, na siya. And then, allowance to customer for shipping damages. So, that's uh, also deduction. So, that would be 25,000. So, the balance for your accounts receivable would be 1,200,000. So, kung sa T account pa na siya, so, if we're preparing the T account for accounts receivable, okay, so, here would be your beginning balance and then you have the credit sales and then sa credit side, maunin siya tong collection. And then you have the write off. Write off. And then you have the returns. And then if there's allowance, which is uh, not really common to problems, pero if na I returns, yeah, allowance. And then the ending balance will be found here at this side. So I'm balancing figure and then yeah. Okay, so kung ato na siyang subayon here, uh, same sa iyahang formula, so nadiri 600,000, nadiri ang 6 million, sa pikas ka side, 5 million 300, 35, 40, 25. So the total will be 6 million 600, and this would be 6 million 600 sad, so the balancing figure here would be 1 million 200. So nga ni iyahang itsura, okay, huwag dili lang mo lag okay, so nga ni lang sya inig suwat ok, so this would be 600,000 shortcut lang na ako 600,000, so this is 6 million and then 5.3 million and then you have 35,000 then 40,000 then you have 25,000. Then total both columns. So this is 6,600,000. And this would be kapihon na nimo 6,600,000. Ganun ang kapihon man na siya ma'am. Kaya ang balance figure niya. Ako siya i-adjust kay. Nahulot na ang space. Okay. 5.3 so this is 35 40 then 25 so the balancing figure niya na adiri so the balancing figure so it total ni siya 5 3 plus 35 plus 40 plus 25 so 5 4 minus 6 million 600 so the balancing figure is 1 million 200 and this is your ending balance so mo na kulang para mahimo ni siya 6 million 600 the next requirement is prepare a compound entry to correct. So, we need to remove the items that do not belong to the accounts receivable na account. So, we need to remove katong unsa may una, kaning subscriptions. Diba? So, debit subscriptions receivable to establish a separate account. So, 150 deposit and contract. Then you have claims receivable for the claims against common carrier. Then for the IOU, so that should be um, advances to employees. Then the cash advance affiliate is advances to affiliates. Then you have advances to supplier. And then, uh, wala naman. So, the collection should be treated sa subscriptions receivable na siya nga part. So, ang subscriptions receivable, you need to take note, di ba? That is already 200,000 minus tong collection nga 50,000. Okay, so that's why 150. And then, ang ato ang claims against common carrier, di ba? Ang ihang amount is 100,000. But, uh, 
as you can see na reduce na siya by the, the collection. So, that's why it is uh, 60,000. So, in net na siya. And if you're going to total this one, this will, uh, sorry, until one. If you're to going to total this, so that, that will equal to 490,000. Then, the rest, I think they're just the same amount. For letter C, what should be the amount presented as trade and other receivables? So, that would include the accounts receivable, the claim receivable, advances to employees, advances to supplier, and that would be total of 1,320,000. The items that will not be part of the trade and other receivables will include the subscription subscriptions receivable so that is uh, not included because the the there's no indication if that is to be collected in the near na term or not so kinahang na ni identify niya nga collectible na siya within one year to be part of the trade and other receivables just like in the previous problem in 4-1 deposit and contract is classified as non-current and should be presented as non-current asset then the advances to affiliates would be uh, treated as non-current and presented as long-term investments if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons thank you for watching